What's up, everybody? 915 Mang here doing some uh, unboxing. I got a bunch of frags, but I want you to get something good to drink, some old school Kool Aid, and uh, let's get into this video. So, I had the itch of uh, getting some corals, and I decided to go ahead and get some on eBay. Now, I did ask uh, Lynn on uh, Instagram and, and Facebook uh, where did she get her corals from? Because, um, you know, just some of the usual sites that I go on, they really, you know, you get, they got to change it up. Uh, I buy a, quite a bit of stuff, and I want to get some uh, nice Zoas. Now, the thing about eBay um, is, this is my first time shopping on eBay, and I went with a company called Badass Frags. That's their actual company based out of Florida. And, you know, it was my first time doing the whole auction thing. And I mainly picked up a bunch of Zoas, as you can see. I was kind of hesitant, but what I did do is I looked at the amount of reviews that they had. I looked for the positive comments, neutral comments, and negative comments. And I kind of made my decision on there. Now, when you're bidding, uh, it kind of gets addicting. You got to kind of limit yourself, set a price point for each frag because um, especially with this company, there's a whole bunch of people watching. Uh, they might not bid until it's like one, two, five minutes towards the auction closing, and then you go ahead and you lose the frags. But I did do a nice coral haul, and uh, first time ordering from them, and uh, pretty happy with the company. So they were called Badass Frags, and uh, we're gonna go ahead and open these babies up, dip them, and uh, put them in my lagoon uh, tank. Now my lagoon tank from Innovative Marine is basically just my little frag tank. Um, and what I did is I got a, a pencil and I just started writing the names down on the stems because I just, you know, so I don't forget and I can kind of reference it later on. The shipping was about 40, 50 bucks, but like if you're a local Florida resident, um, I think the shipping was like $30 overnight or something like that. So that is pretty cool if you're living in Florida. Now me, I live in Texas. Uh, that's why um, my shipping was like 40, 50 bucks. But I did pick up a nice coral haul. Hopefully these babies grow for me really nice. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and show you what they look like under the blues here in a minute. But uh, quite a few different variety of frags. Um, and I, you know, I like to grow them out. Eventually these guys will go into my 150 tank and uh, make it out of the uh, lagoon. So it is a nice variety of colors right here. Um, starting to open up and uh, some of these those I've had before, like the pink diamonds, I've had those before but I don't know what happened to them. And uh, so I went ahead and ordered a couple of, one more frag of it and hopefully it grows out because they're pretty sweet looking. All the colors right here are awesome. That's why I like the Zoas. Um, I'm still into the SPS and all that, but I love having a mixed reef. Uh, it just looks way better to me in my opinion. Now my lagoon is serving as a frag tank. I have thought about sticking some live rock in here and maybe doing something like that. But to be honest with you, um, just looking at the different colors of frags is good enough for me. My lighting on this tank is two Radeon XR15 Gen 4s. Uh, those have been going on sale now with the addition of the new Gen 5s that came out. Now something else that I want to talk to you about. You can see this is my water container and I have bought a second membrane so I can make even more water. But the thing is I had got it and I set it up totally wrong. What I did is... Uh, I thought I did it correct, but I didn't connect this little green flow restrictor. Now, if you look in it, in the uh, center, you'll see a tiny, tiny little hole, uh, which I'm about to show you, but uh, I'm glad I didn't throw it away because usually I always have like extra parts and pieces, and usually those things go in the trash. But as you can see, the little tiny hole that it has is the amount of flow. Because I had my uh, second membrane hooked up to my uh, RODI unit completely wrong and uh, I'm going to tell you guys straight up I had my water running like all day and all night 
and I barely had even five gallons of water uh, even produced. So I looked at the uh, paper, I orientated it towards the uh, picture and my diagram the way it was, and it was pretty confusing for me. So what I did is I I marked it down two and one. Remember, and two is the the uh, new edition, and then I just that's why I have this picture totally flipped upside down. But I'm happy to say that it is working. It is producing a lot more water now. And uh, I did waste a shit ton of water because I had it connected wrong, guys. I don't know how many of you guys have ever done that, but in this channel, I believe in helping each other out. If any of you guys have any questions on how to do it, let me know because the instructions are kind of confusing and uh, I do have some great pointers for you. Before I was making this water, this thing was barely even coming out. Now, as you hear it, it's a wonderful sound. It sounds great. Kind of makes you want to go pee, doesn't it? But as you can see, water's coming out nice. It doesn't take me all day to fill this uh, 30 something gallon brew container up. And uh, I usually go through one of these uh, every two weeks because I use it for my auto top off, filling up my water reservoir for all the EVAP. And then I use it for my water changes, so it'll last me about two weeks. Every two weeks, I gotta make a new 35 gallon uh, jug. Also, the wastewater, I have it going all the way to my backyard. And since uh, summer's coming around, I'm uh, starting to water the grass, and uh, that's what I like to do with my wastewater. So that way, it doesn't just go down the sink and actually use it again. I picked up a cheap pump from uh, Amazon that's going to go in my 25 gallon lagoon and uh, it was like 50 bucks. I did have a just a straight forward little pump from uh, Aquion on my 25 gallon and it worked out pretty good but this one does a little bit of wave, a little bit of feed mode and I'm going to go ahead and put it inside of my 25 gallon lagoon. If I like it I might go ahead and add a different one but I think one should hold off on my tank pretty good and be able to kick up lots of detritus and uh, have some nice flow in there. Now I did have some phosphates and one thing that I did was almost did 100% water change. Uh, my tank is a 25 gallon lagoon but I only did a 15 gallon water change and pretty much the whole front section of the all-in-one tank um, almost drained all the water out. Uh, what I did was I started siphoning out all the junk and I still got some more uh, phosphates that I need to take out in here. I'm going to probably buy some phosphate RX and uh, dose that because um, I found that no matter how much I scrub from my frag plugs, that little fuzzy algae um, is still coming back. Uh, even after doing this 100% uh, water change, I might do another one because it's only 15 gallons. But... Uh, it's doing okay my 150 uh, seems to be doing okay I'm still uh, having a little bit of issues with Aptasia and um, it's not as bad as it was before I think that if you look at the old videos and look at this current video um, the Aptasia is doing okay you might be saying to yourself you still got a bunch of Aptasia but um, I had it even worse than what it was and I do have the Bergias, they're going to town. They're mainly eating them all off of the rocks and working their way down to the sand bed. I've seen them pretty active at night on the sand bed and, uh, and there was a whole bunch of them in my tank. So I'm really happy with the way that they're working. They do are taking, taking their time and uh, I still would like to add a copper, copper band butterfly. Just gotta find one at my LFS so I could add them to my, my tank. Now another thing about the copper bands is I want to make sure that they're eating because I had one before and uh, it just didn't make it because uh, it wasn't eating. Beautiful fish, they, I love how they act, their personality and everything, but uh, uh, one thing is I got to make sure that they're eating before I add them to my tank. The zoas that I picked up from uh, Badass Frags, I am going to start putting them inside of my 150 and uh, go ahead and start adding some color. I'll super glue them to my rock and that way they can start growing and 
think the variety of colors are going to look really nice and on my tank with the mixed reef you know the SPS and the Zoas I think it will be a great combination that right there is my little buddy the harlequin shrimp um, he is pretty hungry and I actually got a uh, chocolate chip starfish coming I have the chocolate chip starfish coming from my buddy Javier he's bringing them over to me on Instagram he's the reefing chef so for those of you who are on Instagram check him out and uh, he's the one that's uh, giving me the chocolate chip because I usually don't see my harlequin shrimp which is this little guy until he's hungry especially uh, because he's usually always eating I take care of him uh, he's been in this tank the longest out of all the harlequins because he's eating the Astorina starfish and those are those little annoying starfish that seem to like to eat coral I know some people say oh they're harmless but trust me they're not now this starfish is it is harmless because it cleans your tank um, and it just eats all the detritus that it can uh, my pumps are gonna be doing an upgrade and I'm gonna be showing you that in the next video but right now I have uh, that little beast right there it's the QP 15 or 16 and it's doing pretty good my alk issues still kind of having them I do have my doser running now I'm adjusting it on between like 38 ml to 42 ml and I've been testing and uh, going up and down from there I'm trying to keep my alk up at 8 um, I've had it up as high as 9 but I think 8 a steady 8 would be okay in my tank we'll see in the next video I'll do an updated top down we'll do a nighttime view but I would like to show you guys how it looks during the daytime and then do a nighttime video later on because it looks totally different I like showing you the good and the bad the good thing on this tank is is the Aptasias are starting to disappear my uh, Bergias those little slugs are eating them all up which is great and uh, my tank is starting to look nice I think that was one of the only issues that I really had I did have some cyano slime issues and I'm gonna show you in a different video I'm gonna make a separate DIY how to uh, get rid of cyano video and uh, we'll talk about that in another video update everything else is doing pretty good hope you enjoyed this one hope you guys are doing good on your tanks but this little coral right here is almost dead but I'm trying to keep it alive I ended up super gluing it to this uh, frag rack uh, because it kept falling down in the sand bin I would like to also add a little bit more fish to this tank I don't want any more tanks I have uh, three tanks I think that's enough um, a yellow tank would be cool but I just want to mainly stick to little fish the other fish that I want to add is just the copper band and a bunch of little fish this one's my little purple dotty back also one of my little favorite fish and I like to get a clown goby or bicolor not clown goby but a bicolor blenny or something like that into this tank I think would be cool well guys I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here hope you guys had a good one enjoyed this one and you guys take care make sure you hit that like subscribe button and we'll catch you guys on the next video